Hi, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and we are going to be getting to some eminent domain gameplay in a moment, but there's just something I wanted to clarify, specifically about playing a survey card for your role. Remember I said the plant you end up choosing does have to be played face down in front of you until you conquer it or colonize it, but while you're choosing which planet card to keep, you are allowed to look at both sides of the cards. This is very valuable, of course, because that might influence which card you end up choosing. I also wanted to clarify why there's different colored resource tokens, because they're all of equal value. They can all be traded in for a single influence point. Well, let's take a look at this technology card as an example. Diverse markets, when played as an action, will give you plus one influence for each type of resource you trade this turn. So if I was to trade in these three resources, I would get the usual three influence points for each resource, as well as an additional two influence because I have two different types of resources that I'm trading. All right, now I know it looks like I'm alone here tonight, and that would make for a very bad and boring game of Eminent Domain, but actually we're gonna have a special guest. And no, I'm not replacing Luke and Andrea, but there, I have a friend that I want to invite onto the show, and um, let's see if he's there. Jamie, uh, Jamie, are you there? Hey now, Rodney, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Jamie, good to see you, man. I'm nice to great. see you as well. Well, listen, uh, Jamie right now, uh, you might not realize, he's in the United States, and I I'm in Canada, and <laughs> we are going to try to bring you guys a watchable playthrough of Eminent Domain. Now, the reason why I invited uh, Jamie to the show is, uh, I don't know, Jamie, if you realize this or not, but the last few games I've played with Luke, he's been creaming me. I'm on a serious Oh, really? Streak. Yeah, it's, he, I'm on a really bad losing streak, and I know the last time you and I played this... Um, I beat you, so... <laughs> you beat me by one point. Yeah, yeah I know, but I'm softening <laughs> you up, you see. So. <laughs> no, no, that's of course not the reason why I, I uh, invited Jamie here. Jamie and I have become friends over the last few months, and he's actually uh, the one who taught me how to play Eminent Domain first. And I thought this would be a, a neat way for us to, uh, to collaborate, because um, I first got to know Jamie by listening to the Secret Cabal Gaming Podcast, which you are a host of, right? So Yes, I am. Why don't you tell everyone just a little bit about the uh, podcast? Yeah, I'm uh, one of five hosts of the Secret Cabal Gaming Podcast. We review board games, talk about role-playing games, miniatures games. That is definitely something that uh, you and I share as a common <laughs> love. Yes, we love the plastic. Yes, and we love to acquire it and not paint it for a really long yeah. time. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but yeah, we come out twice a month. And we review, like I said, we review games, we discuss games, kind of get into the theory of games sometimes, but all in a very irreverent kind of way. And uh, if anyone's interested, you can check us out on iTunes or the Dice Tower Network. Absolutely. Uh, fantastic show. I say it all the time. I really, really enjoy the podcast. People should check it out. Jamie, there's a couple of changes that we need to make um, to this playthrough to make it work. A little, a little house ruling we had to do. You want to tell people what we're, we're planning to do to change things up a bit? Sure, yeah. I know some people don't like house rules, but one thing that Rodney and I do is we play remotely over Skype a lot. Of various different types of games. In some games, you just got to make a couple of rule exceptions. Exactly. This one's no different. Uh, in the game, you have to draw planets from the planet deck. That's the only shared resource really in the game that's random. So what we're going to do is we're just going to house rule it and say, both of us are going to pull from a different deck and just kind of go with it. Yeah, we might end up having the same planets, um, but it's really the only way to make it kind of work without being a real hassle for us, right? So, I really don't think it's going to affect the balance too drastically. No. And these roll cards, we, <laughs> we're going to have to manage these too, right? Absolutely. Yes, every time we pull a card from the central display here, we're each going to pull it out. So when one is depleted, we're both depleted. That's right, exactly. Now, um, to make things easier on us, we're not going to record the entire uh, gameplay. Uh, we're going to do a few uh, of turns, and then we'll take a little break. We'll continue playing, of course, but we'll bring you back maybe mid-game, do some more turns, then come back again towards the end of the game. And just <laughs> that, that way, the less we film, the less chances we have to make mistakes. That is <laughs> but true. At the same time, yeah. At the same time, though, you guys will get a very good sense of how the gameplay works and see hopefully a lot of different card interactions. Um, now, also, I should mention, we actually can't see each other right now. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Jamie can't see me, I can't see him. So that means that when we're showing you guys, the viewers, our table displays, we're not giving anything away. Uh, I plan to show you guys openly what's in my hand. And when I talk about what's in my hand, I can also mute Jamie so he can't hear. So no, uh, no information going over to the enemy, as it were. 
Um, I think that's everything, Jamie. Are we ready to do this? Let's get to it. I'm ready to snatch some planets. <laughs> it sounds good. Well, I'm the first player, so everyone, you come join me on this side of the table, and we'll get started with the first turn. All right, so let me just take you guys on a tour of my empire so far. Uh, here's the central display, of course. This is actually my hand of cards, so I've laid these out so everyone can see those. Jamie, of course, cannot see them. Uh, this is my, uh, my deck here that I'll be drawing from. And we already determined uh, randomly that I would be the start player. So I'm just going to remove this for now. And here's my starting planet. Jamie randomly divvied those out, so I took mine that matched what he drew for me. And this little space here is because I know it's hard to see the ships on uh, this black cloth. So whenever I collect ships, I'm going to put them here on this little space map that I have. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, so now, Jamie, I just want to let you know, I have a great opening hand. And oh, well, I'm glad you do, because I have a handful of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, here, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, action phase, I am going to play a card. I'm going to play my politics card. So this gets removed from the game, and then I can take any one of the cards from the central display. And I'm going to grab a colonize card and add that to my hand. And then I'm going to do my roll, and I'm going to take... A colonized card, all right? And I'm going to follow that with one other colonized card. And so those I'm going to place underneath of my planet. So I now have the two colonized cards underneath my starter planet that I need, all right? So the next chance I get to settle a planet, I'll be able to do that. You want to follow that, Jamie? Absolutely not. No. Colonizing is not in my bag. I'm going to dissent. <laughs> I open the door there for you to do something and you dissent. All right, well, I see how you're going to be. I'm going to, uh, now it's the cleanup phase. I'm going to throw out um, one card here. Throw out one card and no, I think that'll be it. So I'm going to drop to my maximum hand size. That means I'm going to be able to take two cards, add them to my hand. Jamie, I'm going to have to pass things over to you because now it's going to be... Turn two. All right, so as I mentioned to Rodney, my hand is complete garbage. I have every card that you can possibly have. <laughs> a whole potpourri of options. Yeah, a whole potpourri of cards. So, uh, what I drew when I was dissenting was a colonization. Now, I don't want to go colonization, and that is because I have a metallic planet to start with. And metallic planets typically work better with a warfare plan. You're going to be aggressive then, eh? I'm going to be aggressive. So, what I'm going to do for my first turn is I'm going to play a politics card. And I'm going to take a warfare card for that politics out of the game. So you're following my strong strategy then. I'm absolutely doing that. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then I'm going to take the role of warfare. Oh, you would. And I'm going to use my warfare card to add my second warfare icon, allowing me to take two ships. Okay, well, I'm going to have to descent, um, so I'm going to draw a card. All right, so I'm going to discard those two. I'm going to get rid of these horrible, horrible colonization cards and this production trade card and draw up to five. All right, not too bad. So you passing it over to me now? It's your turn. All right, so we're at turn three here, and the card I picked up when I dissented was this produced trade here. I've slipped it underneath of this other one. Well, for my action, I have a colonized card, which is really fortunate. I'm going to use that right now. Uh, to settle a planet. I'm going to settle this planet here. So here's my first planet, adding it to my empire. I'm going to throw out these colonized cards into my discard pile. And now I get to do a roll. And I think, well, I've already got a planet. It's already discovered. I need to get some new plants out here. So I'm going to take the survey card as my roll, and I'm going to play these other two cards to follow. So I'm playing a total of three survey cards, and that's going to let me look at three planets. So I'm going to take the top three off of here. Let's see, we've got two fertile planets and a metallic. I think I'd like to go fertile because I already have one. And if I have two, oh, look at this. This one here lets me increase my hand size by one. And this one has a potential for two resources. <laughs> Jamie. Which one would you take, Jamie? Neither. I'd throw them right in the trash, Rodney. <laughs> Not very helpful. Um, you know, I think the hand size is going to be really helpful. So I'm going to I'm going to keep that one. So I have to play it face down and these other two planets get discarded and I don't get to have those as much as I would like to have them as well. And so then these survey cards they go as well. Jamie, you plan on following or what are you doing? That's a really tough decision because following would be fantastic for me, but I'm going to have to dissent because I know what the last card at the top of that deck is and I need it for my next turn. Uh. 
Sorry to hear so that. So I'm going to dissent. Okay, well, while he's dissenting, I'm going to do the cleanup. So I'm going to throw out all these cards, actually. So I'm going to have to draw a new hand of five cards. And I only have two cards left here. So I'm going to shuffle up my discard pile, and I'm going to draw three new ones, and I'm going to turn it over to Jamie. All right, so I'm taking over with turn four. Now, the reason that I did not follow Rodney's survey last turn was because I had drawn nine cards off of my ten card deck and didn't draw the warfare card that I needed. So I had to follow, or I had to descent to get this warfare card so I could play it as my action, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to play it as an action to attack one planet. Two fighters are going over here and attacking this guy, and I'm taking him. Now I have a metallic planet under my control. All right, so then I'm going to take a survey because I don't have any planets to attack. So I'm going to take the survey roll and I'm going to play it with three survey cards. I'm taking the top three. I have an advanced, a metallic and a metallic. Well, that sounds like something I want. I want metallic planets right now. And this guy. That one's got three victory points, five victory points. And this one's got, I don't want this because it's not a metallic planet. Okay, so we're going to take, ah, I want that one so bad because it's worth five. Tough choices, isn't it? I want the five victory point guy, but he's, I'm going to take it. Five victory point guy. Oh, man, throwing down. Okay. It's going to take me six. <laughs> fighters to get it. All right. Well, I'm going to descend. So I'm going to draw a card. All righty. And I am going to discard my production and trade because I don't need it and draw up to five cards. And back to you, Rodney. All right. So it's my turn five. My hand is here again. And I'm going to play a survey card, Jamie. This time is my action. It's going to let me draw two cards. And the reason why I'm doing this is I really want to have, uh, hopefully, a variety of options here when you take your turn, so I can maybe follow. Um, now, for my role, really simple. <laughs> I've got three colonized cards, Jamie. So I'm going to take one, and I'm going to follow it with the three that I have, so I can put four colonized cards underneath of my new planet. Oh, my. We are just, just, you know, just visiting this planet, setting up shop here. Now, the sad thing is I actually need five colonized cards under here to be able to settle it. So I'm not ready to settle yet, even if I get another colonized card later. Now, um, what do I want to do? What do I want to throw out? Oh, I should ask you. Do you want to follow? Absolutely not. I don't colonize any of my planets. I take them by force. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. You're really sticking to this. <laughs> scary. Okay, well, um, I am going to, for my cleanup phase, I'm going to toss out these two trade and produce cards. And now I'm gonna draw up. So Jamie, I'm gonna throw it back over to you. Now, we just had this little conversation about the way we take planets around here. So I'm going to play a research card to call two colonizers out of my can. Get out what? of my face! <laughs> You're throwing them out? <laughs> <laughs> no colonization here. You are fully committing to the strategy. I That's certainly so, am. That's serious. Okay. <laughs> and the only way that I could possibly capture that planet is by taking a warfare roll. Um, so I'm going to collect two planets. Or I'm going to collect two fighters. Right. Okay. Well, do I want to follow? Of course you do. It's the only way to be. I think I will follow, actually. Um, Everybody's doing it. Come on. <laughs> collect some ships. Everyone gets a ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only throwing out one, so it's not like a great follow, but... All right, and I'm going to throw away the rest of my hand and draw a full fresh five. Okay, excellent. All right, well, it is turn seven, Jamie, and I'm going to surprise you here. I'm not going to take an action. Oh, no. <laughs> or maybe, oh, yes, because my hand's so bad. <laughs> it me either means your hand's bad or you're planning something for next turn. I am kind of planning something here, honestly. I got some things I want to hang on to. Um, and action phase, remember, is optional. It's the only phase you can skip if you want to. Now, uh, my role, I'm going to take a research card. And I'm going to follow it with the two research cards I have in my hand. 
And you need at least three research to buy a technology card. And I'll tell you something really handy. Um, the back of the manual lists every technology card that you can get. So if you don't want to thumb through all the cards, you can just look at this manual and sort of decide what you want. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I gotta say, Eminent Domain's rulebook is about the best rulebook I've ever seen in my entire life. It's really good. Really well laid out. Easy to follow. They could put me out of a job, Jamie. That maybe they could. Whoever wrote their <laughs> rules could put Watch It Played out of business. <laughs> I'm going to collect this uh, improved research technology card. Now, it has an action on it. It says that I can draw one card and then remove up to three. So it's like a, a hyper steroids uh, research card here. But I, I really don't love that action, but what I do like is the uh, the symbols up here in the top left-hand corner because I can play this card as either a research card or as a colonize when I'm following, right? Absolutely. Or when I'm playing it as a role. So I'm going to add that to my hand, and I'm going to keep the cards I have. That means I'm going to have to fill up my hand, and look, I've run out of cards in my draw pile, so I have to shuffle these up and draw a new one. And I think this is a good time for us to take a little break, Jamie. Let's let's play a few turns, you and I, and then we'll bring the viewers back uh, once we've made a little more progress. So, Rodney, are you going to allow me to dissent your research action? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. You're here too, aren't you? <laughs> I'm still here. You can't see me, but I'm still over here. All right, I'm going to dissent and draw a card. 